Chapter 6 Natural Calamities Science Word Pile Let us first study meanings of some important words in this chapter. Here are some important words with their meaning. Earthquake A sudden shaking or vibration in the earth's crust. Lava The molten rocks are called lava. Tsunami A Japanese word meaning harbor wave. Famine Acute scarcity of food. Natural calamities. The earth is a living planet and forces of nature like temperature, pressure and magnetic forces change the conditions of the earth on their own. Sometimes they cause unusual changes in the climate on the surface of the earth or in the earth's interior resulting in large-scale damage to property and human life. Such calamities caused by nature are called natural calamities. Natural calamities are of different types. Let us study some of these calamities separately. Earthquakes An earthquake is a sudden shaking or vibration in the earth's crust. It occurs when forces pushing on a mass of rock under the earth's surface dislocate it. The origin point of an earthquake is called the focus. This point lies well below the surface of the earth. The point on the earth's surface straight above the focus is called the epicenter. The vibrations may vary in strength or magnitude. Some earthquakes are so weak that they are barely felt. Others are so violent that they cause extensive damage. Some earthquakes recently witnessed in India occurred in Uttrakashi in Uttarakhand and Lathur in Maharashtra. The Gujarat, that is Bhuj earthquake, on 26 January 2001 and the earthquake in Jammu and Kashmir in 2005 were equally devastating. In these earthquakes, thousands of people were killed and property worth crores of rupees were destroyed. Volcanic eruptions Due to certain movements and disturbances in the Earth's interior, what happens is that sometimes molten rocks, smoke and ash are forced out of cracks from the crust of the Earth. These molten rocks are called lava. There is huge damage to property and life when the lava flows down and runs over populated areas. The earliest recorded volcanic eruption is that of Mount Vesuvius in Italy, which destroyed the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in AD 79. Volcanoes are mesmerizing to look at but really cause a lot of damage. Landslides Landslides occur in hilly areas. Sometimes big rocks and stones, along with mud, slide down the mountain slopes towards the valley, causing death of people. Landslides occur more frequently 
during the rainy season. They are common sites in the Himalayas and the northeastern hilly areas. Deforestation is a major cause of landslides in hilly areas. When trees are cut down, the soil becomes loose and gets easily washed away in rain. So we must definitely not cut more than required trees in these areas, right? Tsunami Tsunami is a Japanese word meaning harbor wave. A tsunami is a series of huge waves that occur after undersea disturbances such as earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. The waves travel in all directions from the area of disturbance. Do you know? These waves can be as high as 50 feet or more. They may attain speeds of over 750 kilometers per hour. In 1970, a tidal wave and cyclone struck Bangladesh, killing about 2 lakh people. The tsunami that hit the coasts of India and some other countries on the Indian Ocean on December 26, 2004, killed nearly 3 lakh people and made thousands of people homeless. It was indeed a disastrous natural calamity. Floods During the rainy season, the level of water in rivers starts rising. This results in river water flooding into villages and cities. Floods are caused by abnormally high rainfall, rapid melting of glaciers, dam failures, landslides, etc. Floods affect millions of people worldwide and cause damage to life and property on a large scale. Droughts Droughts are caused by prolonged periods of dry weather leading to shortage of water in an area. In severe droughts, there may be a total absence of rainfall for years. Can you imagine that? They are common in regions near the desert zones. Droughts cause crop failures. Because of scarcity of water and food, domestic animals die in large numbers and the general population suffers from hunger and poverty. There are various other natural disasters which are the cause of concern for one and all. But there is no escape from them because most of them are unpredictable. In severe droughts, people die due to shortage of food and water, and such a condition is called famine.